Okay, let's continue our investigation, comparison of geometry and physics. So let me take now circulation. So what about circulation? Well, uh, circulation is a flow in physics when you have a center and everything else is moving and I will assume everything else is moving as one rigid object like a wheel so that for any other point velocity of the point is perpendicular to the radius from the center and the further you go from the center, the greater the speed is, and that speed is proportional to the distance from the center. So this is basically the picture. Now, how to translate that into geometry or algebra? How to find the formula in algebra? Well, Let's try to find the formula by looking at a very specific, uh, simple example of this. So, simple case of circulation is going to be when you take a point x, y, you Assume the coordinate system is centered at the center of circulation, so everything is rotated about the origin of my x-y coordinate system, and I would assume the vector, velocity vector assigned, has the same magnitude as this position vector. So if this vector is has coordinates x-y, then I can figure out what the coordinates of that vector are. So let me draw this vector originating from the origin. And then I can notice that to find coordinates of that vector, I can look at this triangle. And this triangle is equal to that triangle. So that this side being x is equal to that side so this is x and that side being y is equal to that side but the coordinate of that point is going to be negative minus y so that vector has coordinates minus y comma x All right. so that's a formula f of x comma y equals minus y comma x in a very simple case when the speed being proportional to the distance is actually equal to the distance. Now what if we want the speed to be let's say one half of that? Well that means we just have to multiply this vector by half. And we have to multiply each vector by half. Instead of this vector, you should take a half of it. So the formula should be that vector times a half. Or if you want to make it longer, multiply it by whatever coefficient you want to use to make it longer. And let me use notation omega for that coefficient. Because omega is going to have Standard meaning in physics, omega is the angular speed of that flow. So the formula is going to be omega times minus y comma x. So this is the kind of vector assigned to the point x, y, where omega, of course, is a constant. Where omega is a constant. which has perfect physical meaning being angular velocity. All right, 
Now having that formula, and well, we can look at geometry behind that. So what would be geometric interpretation of this? So what if I choose omega being one half, right? So what kind of geometric transformation is going to be described by the function f of x, y equals a point minus y over 2, comma, x over 2. All right, let's look at it. So we have x, y, and then I'm looking for a point with coordinates minus y over 2. So I have to take that y, divide by 2, put it as x coordinate, so this is the minus y over 2, and then take x divided by 2 and consider it as y coordinate. So this is x over 2, and that is the resulting point, minus y over 2, x over 2. So my point x, y gets transformed into that point. Boom. And if I move that point, well, let's say, take this point, where does that go? X decreases, Y stays the same, so it goes there. And that point goes there. And this point. Goes there. What happens to that point? Well, x gets divided by 2, and y is 0, so it will go right there, onto y-axis. And this point will go right there. So, seems like everything is sort of rotating, but is it really rotating? Well, it's not rotating because, although the point 0, 0, 0, 0, transformed to 0, 0, so this point doesn't even move, transformed to itself, the rest of the point is not keeping the same distance to this one. The distance is reduced by 2. So, everything is shrinking and sort of rotating at the same time. So, I don't even know how to call this transformation. It's not a rotation, not Homothetic. I don't know any name for that. And this is what geometric interpretation is of that simple circulation, simple circular motion of physics. So, algebraically, it has exactly the same formula, but the meaning is totally different. And if from physics point of view, this is considered simple, from geometric standpoint, it's, this is not simple at all.